Hello and welcome to Help I Bought a Farm for Farming Simulator 22. I'm Farmer Tom and if this is your first time watching one of my videos, welcome and thank you for clicking on the link. And if you have seen my previous videos, thank you for coming back. Today's video is going to be about bees. Now, if you've seen my previous videos on Help I Bought a Farm, we first built the windmill to generate some passive income. Then we built some greenhouses and they're going to generate as a passive income every month or a semi-passive income every month because we still need to fill up these water barrels but we only need to fill these once a year so uh, yes, yeah, it's, it's not much, much hassle. We then covered some grass, how to increase the yield in grass and things we can do with grass. I still have to cut this grass actually, I've not made any bales since I sold the last batch. And we built some beehives. But they're gone. Because for this video, I'm going to be investigating the wonder that is bees. Now, if you press P and you go into your construction mode you click on animals and over to bees you'll see various sizes of beehives and over here for $200 is a little hazard zone or a a thatched area that you need to place in order to allow your honey to spawn. Now you'll see here it says only one item allowed per farm. That's because I have placed this bigger one here. Now this small one it doesn't matter if you, if, if you have more beehives the theory is you're going to have more honey. So let's say you built 10 beehives and every month you generated on average, let's say, 6 crates of honey. Only one crate is going to spawn in that small one. But that's the only one you get in the base game, which means you have to remove that crate of honey before the next one can spawn, which is an absolute nuisance. So I've installed a mod to get bigger sizes. And this large one here, you can see I've built, is going to spawn me up to 32 crates of honey. Now there's a more, more honey crates mod I've got, and I can put a link in the description if you're interested in getting that mod. But it just makes life so much easier having more crates spawned at any one time, rather than this smaller one. It just, just makes life so much easier. Now as you can see here we can only have one per farm but that doesn't matter. We can place this spawn location anywhere on the map and we can place any one of these beehives anywhere on the map. doesn't have to be right next to it. Absolutely anywhere on the map and the honey generated from that beehive will spawn here which is great because it saves running all over the place now the reason I think they've done it this way is because if you notice in the bottom right corner beehives produce honey it will be placed at a centralized location which is to be bought and placed separately Ta -da, that's it there if you place beehives near fields certain crops will also have a slightly increased yield. So that means, great, we can have our spawn location here. We'll have a look at the map. This is us here. We have a spawn location here, but we can have our beehive right down here, and the honey will still spawn here, which is great because then we can pick it up and sell it straight to the store here. So that said, <clears throat> it tells us that certain crop types 
we'll get a yield bonus. So we're going to put this to the test. I'm going to jump in my tractor. Because what I've noticed, and one of the fields close by, there is a crop of sunflowers. Now, these are not ready to be harvested yet. Harvested yet. Now what we can see here, the sunflowers are still growing and they're at 98% yield bonus. So let's test the beehive theory. At the construction. Animals, bees, and we'll build a small one. As if it was made for that. Surprise, surprise. Okay, so we now have our bees, and we've got a honey collection spawn point um, over by the farm. So, yield bonus is still 98%. Now, my research has told me that the bees are supposed to increase the yield on plants that have flowers. So that would be sunflowers, potatoes, and canola. Yet this yield bonus is still 98%. So, that said, let's get rid of the beehive. So we're going to sell this field, because we don't need it right now. <clears throat> and we'll go back and we'll do some testing on the beehives. <clears throat> Does it matter what type of beehive you build? We're about to find out. Exit animals, bees. And let's just build... Let's just build this bog standard small one here. And it doesn't matter where I put it. Oh, can't really zoom in very far, but yeah, that'll do. And we're just going to plonk it right here. I want to see how many pots of honey this beehive makes us. So it's March, let's sleep till April. And how many honey pots did we make? Zero. Seriously. Now you see each beehive is a, a range. This one's 25 meters. That is the range that bees will fly from the nest to. So you're you're where it is, to such an extent where it's going to affect the field that it's next to. Bees will get honey regardless. But if it's affecting the yield on the crop, this hive needs to be within 25 metres of that crop in order for it to affect the yield. Otherwise, bees will just get honey from anywhere. So that made no honey for us. Uh, so we're just going to sleep till May and see what we get. Okay, it's now May. Let's check the honey. Oh. Uh, one crate with one box of honey. Now that took two months to make that with that one little beehive. 
Okay then. So let's get rid of that. Now let's try... Uh, let's try a bigger beehive. Animals, bees... Let's just try the giant one. And again, doesn't matter where I place it. The bees will get honey from anywhere. But this one, as you'll notice, The range is 150 meters, so that'll affect. That has to be within 150 meters from the crop that you want the bees to pollinate to to cause that additional yield. So let's see how much honey this big Bella makes us. So we're gonna sleep to June. Okay, let's see. After one whole month, we have made... <gasps> oh, it's still spawning. One whole crate, one and a bit crates. Let's give that an extra couple of minutes to see if any more spawn. Okay, quite happy with that. So the bigger beehives generate more honey. Now, let's find out how cost effective it is. So, at the moment, let's destroy that or sell it. And collect that honey up. Now I use a mod here called Autoload, uh, which is really handy if you've got time constraints. There you go. Because some days you could be half an hour just loading up your trailer. Um, I'll also put a link in the description to Autoload if you're interested in that. Some people don't like to use mods because... Get out of the way. Uh, just makes it more realistic if you, you do it the way it's meant to be played. But unfortunately, I don't have the time to spend when I'm playing games to spend just loading a trailer. By the time I load the trailer up and sell it, I may have something has happened in my life that I need to leave. So just makes more sense to do it quicker. Okay, now let's see how much money these beehives are going to make us. And I'm going to build them back here, but I had them before. Okay, here are the animals, bees, big one. Okay, so that construction cost was 19,001 and 19,004. That must have been because I was planting it over the grass. So let's leave it with two for the time being. And we're going to skip a month and see how much honey we make. Sleep till July. 
Let's see how much honey we make, and then we'll sell the honey, see how much money we make. Okay, it's now July. Time to see how much honey we've made. And then we can see how much money that honey is going to make us. And we'll just give it a few minutes because it looks like it's still spawning there. So those two those two beehives that we, we built here, 19,000 each, that's a total of 38,000 pounds or dollars, whichever you prefer to have your currency in, or even euros. So let's collect that up and we'll go and sell it to see how much money honey is going to make us. And I'll just sell it across the road. There may be other places that sell it for, uh, buy it for more. But this is convenient. Two thousand six hundred and sixty-eight. Okay. So let's do a 38,000 divided by 2,668 and it's going to take us 14 months before we start making a profit on that honey. Let's place a couple more and see if that figure changes. Okay, we now have eight beehives at a cost of 19,000, which is 152,000. So let's go sleep for a month. Just give that some time because that's it should continue to spawn. Yeah, there we go. Now in theory, because we have eight beehives, which will spawn eight full crates and eight partial crates, which might make up to nine or ten crates. Guaranteed one more crate. Come on. Yep. Okay, that's the last crate. So nine and nine and three quarters. Eight beehives, eight large hives for nine and three quarter crates. Let's take all this and sell it. Thank you. 
10,888. Okay, so the total cost for the eight beehives was 152,000. We'll divide that by 10,888. Same again, 14 months. 14 months and those will pay for themselves and then start gaining profit. Oh no! Sorry! I never looked or indicated. So, 14 months. Are beehives worth it? Yes, I would say, in theory. Over time. Um, after a few months, you've got to sell a big, a big load. Yeah, I'm quite happy with that. 14 months, pay for themselves. And then it's all profit after that. And I can live with that. The trouble is you might not have a lot of money when you're just starting out in the game. So I would probably leave the beehives a little bit later on. And stick with the greenhouses and the, the power windmills, power generators. Now, we need to take another look. Oh, I don't believe it. We've got weeds. Oh, well, don't care. It's just a test. So, the beehives that claim to give a bonus, a sl slight increase to yield. So, it didn't work on the field that we checked at the beginning, um, the sunflowers, but that field had already been planted, it was almost ready to harvest. So I'm going to start fresh. This one's not been seeded yet. And just to make sure we're in range, that should be 150 metres, those beehives over there. But just to make sure we're in range, place another beehive here. That should definitely be into the crop. And then we're going to seed this field. I don't I haven't bothered to weed it. I've not bothered with fertil fer fertilizer, so it's going to have a pretty poor yield, but this is just purely experimental so uh, I don't really care. I'll, uh, once the crop has been harvested, I'll uh, mulch and then that'll increase the yield. Uh, okay, unfold the cedar, lower it, turn it on, and I'm going to do some sunflowers in here. So I'll get to seeding this. do a time lapse or cut back in when I'm done. Must the spot. Uh, yeah, I'll cut back in when I'm done. Okay, I'm back. But I've just realised that I don't know what effect, if any, this is going to have on the yield of the crop. Oh, 50% yield bonus, right, let's remove this and see what effect it's got. So 
it's still a 50% yield bonus. Hmm. I'm not convinced that that actually works, because we did test it in that field. The sunflowers over there. I'll just sell all these beehives. currently has a 50% 50, 50 yield bonus. Alright, so we'll now build a beehive. Animals, bees, big one. Still has a 50% yield bonus. Now let's sleep till September and see if that yield bonus increases. It's maybe it's maybe just a minute bonus that we're not gonna see. Forty one percent yield bonus. How is the yield bonus came down? This is probably going to be so small that we're not going to notice it. Of course, bees are not going to come out in the rain, are they? So uh, let's sleep till October and see what we get. Okay, October. Well, the bees all tend to die off from about September, October, so. Is it going to help increase the yield? Now well, we've still got bees coming out. Yield is 35%. This is probably because of the weeds. I probably need to try this on a prepared field. A ninety-eight percent yield bonus. I'll have to then harvest that field and see how much of a volume of a crop I get. And then re-prepare the field. Ninety-eight percent yield bonus. Place the beehive and then harvest the crop again and compare the two volumes of crop. Okay then, so let's do that. I'll prepare the field and cut back in when I'm done. The field has been limed and primed, weeded and seeded, rocked and rolled. 98% yield bonus, fertilize 100%. Let's let it grow. Okay. Now in May, these sunflowers should be ready to harvest. I think my greenhouses need water. Sunflowers are ready. Okay. You better get a harvester then, eh? Right. So we have harvested with no beehives, 6,117 litres. We'll take a 
a wee note of that. And this harvester is 50% full. 6,117 litres. No bees. Not go to waste, so I'll collect it in my red shiny trailer. My brand new trailer, by the way. This is one of my favourite trailers. You can tip it from, it holds a decent amount. You can tip it either side, left and right, you can tip it at the back. And you can even open that little drawer there. This trailer as well, if you take it to the mechanic, you can make adjustments, you can remove the uh, the extension or you can remove the sides altogether and have your bale trailer there. And now that trailer, if you're interested in the store, Wrong button. Is this one right here? D D double D two four zero seven three XXL comes in a variety of colours. <laughs> yeah, red's my favourite. It's also my son's favourite. Uh, comes with or without the cover. I prefer the cover. And uh, you've got your standard configuration, which is this kind of small version. Comes with the extension, which I uh, bought today. And it can be bought as a, a bale trailer, and which I also have. And I think this holds 19 round bales. I'm not sure about square bales. Um, I haven't made any square bales. Yeah, if you, if you take it to a mechanic... You can make the adjustments without actually having two trailers. Um, it costs you money each time you do it, so sometimes it's just more convenient to, to have two trailers. But anyway, let's get cracking with this field, get it ready for the next uh, the next the lot. What do I need to do is it got is it Weeds growing, okay. Let's get this out here. Okay, just coming up to the final stage of the field preparation. We should be able to skip forward a few months and then harvest the field and see if there's a difference. And then the yield, 98% yield, fertilised 100%, ready to harvest. Good. Now, now we can see how much we collect with the beehive being there. Just coming into the last little section here, and it's looking like we have surpassed the previous harvest. Yep, there we go, then, folks. Let's uh, switch this harvester off. So we have harvested with the beehive sunflowers and got. 
sixth. So with a 98% 98% yield bonus, 100% fertilised, we've got sunflowers at 6,245 litres. The previous harvest with no bees, 98% yield bonus and 100% fertilised, we've got 6,117 litres. So there you have it. There is a very, very slight bonus when you have bees. It's not a big enough bonus to show on the uh, the info, the, the, the field info page or screen. But there is a bonus, very, very small bonus. However, that is just one beehive. If we had multiple beehives, that bonus might increase. Unfortunately though, I don't have time to test multiple beehives, but at least we know we get a bonus with one beehive. Um, so there we have it folks. I think we've answered the question about beehives today and are they worth it? Um, short term, no. Uh, the difference in yield from having a beehive near your, your crop is, is marginal and depending on the size of the beehive that you build it could take you approximately 14 months to get that money back by selling the honey um, yeah so it's definitely not a, a short term investment I'd probably look at using beehives with the intention of making money later on in the game Thanks for watching folks if you're still here, um, please remember to like and subscribe to the channel, uh, it really help the channel along. Um, until next time, have a good one, thank you very much and good night. <laughs>